Nigerian entrepreneur Chichi Okafor learned about Ignite, inspiring girls now in technology evolution. During a 2009 trip to the U.S., she then returned to her country to do the same for girls there. Brought here by the Albuquerque Council for International Visitors, Chichi Okafor sits down for a one-on-one -on -one conversation with NMIF correspondent Farhana Afrid to talk about getting girls to pursue careers in science and technology. Chichi, welcome to New Mexico and our program. Thank you for having me. Your program is changing the lives of hundreds of girls in many schools in Nigeria through your Ignite program. Tell us how you're making this happen. Okay, um, Ignite means inspiring girls now in technology evolution. So what we do in Ignite is uh, we bring in women in tech careers to come to talk to these girls. We have a forum, we have different forums and we bring in the girls from different schools to attend. Um, and what we just do, it's very simple. We just tell the women to tell their stories. Um, how did they get to where they are? What were they experience in high school? And then the girls relate with that. The girls realize that um, whatever the women went through then, they're, still going through, they're also going through it at this point in time. So it's easy for them to talk to these women. And we also make it very interactive. We will um, ask, would, um, encourage the girls to ask questions, whatever they are facing in school, at home, peer pressure. Um, with that, we get the girls interested. And how, uh, what is the impact of this program? How many girls are you reaching? And what results are you seeing? Well, um, the results are okay because we just started three and a half years ago. Um, so far, we've reached um, about 200 girls in different schools within Lagos and Kassana states. And then we hope to reach more girls. We hope um, that we'll have more women that will come in to mentor these girls. And what are the results you're seeing after getting them involved in this program? The, the results are wonderful. Um, after each program, we give out evaluation forms. And through the forms, we'll, um, the girls talk about the impact of this program. We have girls telling us that they never knew, um, they never considered having a, a, going to a tech career, going to science classes. But with the program, they've seen that it's possible. They've come to understand that um, science is um, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, you know, the perception that it's difficult, it's not the, the myth that um, it's for boys, it's over now. The girls were, were able to change the mindsets of the girls, which I think is the most important thing we're doing in Ignite. Um, once we can change the mindsets from high school, there's a 80% chance that um, when they want to choose um, courses to go to college or to university, they will, they, will go in, they will take up a career in tech. So they're looking at a future in science and technology. Yes. And you're helping to really shift their thinking. How much of a difference um, are the, is this program making in their lives and in their communities and in their families? Um, in their lives, I can say from what the girls, from the feedback from the girls, is an, it's wonderful. Um, we have schools telling us that we've done well. We have um, principals and um, schools asking us um, to do more. We have schools talking to other schools. I've, I've, um, I've had a, a school call me up, one or two schools call me up to say, we heard that you've done so well in so and so school. Can you come and start up Ignite in our school? And we go there and we launch Ignite. And the girls, are, what we see from the girls, the impact on the girls is an, from the first meeting, the girls are overwhelmed because they never had that thought that science could be fun and science could be great. But let me ask you about science can be fun, science can be great on that thought. You know, we've, you've heard it, you, we read about it, you know, that technology is very boring, you know, it's mainly for boys, it's uh, for nerds. So how do you make technology fun for these girls in Nigeria? We first of all start with the mindset. We ask them, how many of you own a phone? And also they do. Phone is technology. How many of you are on Facebook? They all say, yes, we are. That's part of technology. We try to let them know. Um, try to let them know that it's simple. It's not some. There's nothing. There's, it's not a myth. And I think that is key it, for you to be fun. You must tell yourself it's fun. You must take away the mindset that it's difficult. You must take away the mindset that I can't do it. And that's what we're trying to do. The perception. When you ask them some some of these like these two questions, I I, I said it, it like, oh really? Is that science? Is that technology? So the girls are amazed that the little things they do, watching TV, playing the video game, is technology. Uh, and what does it mean for these girls 
especially in Nigeria, for, for these girls to pursue careers in, in, in science and technology? For the girls, I think it's a, um, telling them that the sky is not their limit. That's what I tell them, and that's what I try to always let them know. Because um, after the sky, the clouds, we have the space. So they can aim higher and stop being myopic. Um, and the girls also realize that um, um, we're bringing, we have courses on career choices. That way they know that it's not just being an engineer, there are other aspects of science. Last year we had Google and the ladies at Google Nigeria spoke to these girls and they were overwhelmed that there were ladies working in Google Nigeria and that these ladies had done, made an impact in Google and they had a lot of questions. So bringing these women and talking to these girls is an impact. The girls now know um, I can do it because um, their lives, the lives of the girls and the lives of these women, you girls find out that it's almost the same thing. They all have the same, they all face the same challenges, but they made up their mind to be different. They made up their mind that I will make an impact. And how different is that from what they know in a traditional setup? I, I imagine that could be very different from what their roles have been defined in the house, in the home. Nigerians right now are enlightened. We have, um, we have bankers. We have women in the stop, um, in, in, in the stop, in, in, in the stop broken firms. Women are coming up in Nigeria right now to take their place. But we're saying um, we can do more. And for us to do more, we have to start with the next generation. Because that means in future, Nigerians will have female scientists. We have w w more w female engineers. It should not just be a career for men. We have women who can say, yes, I'm a Nigerian woman and I can do it. Women in Nigeria have really come up. We have a minister of, our, a minister of finance, who is also a coordinating minister, Ngozi Konjoy Wala. Um, she works at, she was at the uh, World Bank. She was supposed to be the World Bank president. Well, I guess being from Africa and from Nigeria, she didn't get the support she was to get. And that is a woman that I always tell the girls, if she can do it, you can do it. So having role models is, is key to yes. giving them the opportunity to dream big. Yes. And we have this role model. We have another woman um, in science who is a wonderful woman. Um, it was when I started Ignite, I realized that Nigeria has the first female black professor in computer science, Professor Nicole Shofisa. Um, she's always there to talk to the girls. Um, she's, she, she tells them it's possible. If she could do it, then she's a grandmother. So she says, um, it's things are better for you, girl. We've broken the barrier. We've come out to say women can do it. So she encourages the girls. She's one of the mentors we have in Ignite. And, and it's so important, a lot of the discussions we've had on this subject talk about having strong role models, not just in companies that you can emulate, but also in your own homes and, and going to your example with the grandmother. Obviously, there's so much more I want to discuss with you. Um, so we're going to take this conversation online and continue our dialogue. Chichi okay. Okafor, thank you so much. Thank you very much.